Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Stunning turn of events happen after pro-Trump bikers surround CNN reporter. It was a stunning turn of events when the CNN reporter attended the Sturgis motorcycle rally in North Dakota was surrounded by Trump supporter bikers. The reporter, Bill Weir, said, "Touch me, touch me," and he was hit with the truth. The biker did it. He listened and touched the reporter. He touched him so hard with kindness that you would think that was a big fluffy teddy bear getting ready to ride a Harley. You might think that Bill Weir was about to be attacked and buried in a desert far away, but it was nothing like that. It was the complete opposite. The bikers and the CNN reporter were laughing, joking, and having a fun conversation. This is the real America that mainstream media won't show you because it doesn't get good ratings. This is a group of people from one side and a reporter from the other side proving what the real America is actually like. When you go outside, you don't see people lashing out at each other from Trump's side, but you see it from the other side once in a while whenever the liberals attack or harass people. Daily Caller stated, CNN sent reporter Bill Weir to Sturgis, South Dakota, to ask political questions of some of the hundreds of thousands of biking enthusiasts who travel to the remote city each year for the largest biker gathering in the world. Weir wandered around the town which plays host to half a million bikers each year asking what they thought of Trump and the Russia investigation and special counsel. Weir was met with fierce devotion to Trump and many bikers brushing off his questions. Weir was wearing a CNN Facts First shirt during the interviews and was flabbergasted that he could not get the bikers to agree with him that Trump has a dark cloud over his presidency. No amount of earnest reporting will change their minds, Weir said in one segment. At one point, bikers surrounded Weir and called him fake news. Trump supporters were heckling him a little bit, but it was all in a joking manner. They were still friendly, respectful, and very nice to Weir. Trump supporters are generally nice people unlike what the dark media likes to portray. They're just regular everyday Americans who are sick of the nonsense in politics so they voted for something different. Sure, Trump might tweet a lot or use tanning products, but that's just a funny talking point that doesn't actually matter. The point of this video, which you'll see below is to expose the truth about Trump supporters and how nice they actually are. On top of that, Trump is actually doing a very fine job while he's dealing with all the distractions on top of it. Facts are facts and the facts are that we're doing pretty well right now. The only people who aren't are the liberals who simply won't put their feelings aside and come back down off their moral high ground. Facts matter, feelings don't. Watch this video showing what really happens in America. Then compare it to some of the videos where liberals are out there harassing people and acting like scoundrels. It was just the other day when liberals were chanting FCK white supremacy to a black girl in Philadelphia. Her name is Candace Owens and the liberals don't like her because she's a conservative. She's black, she's female, and those are two things the social justice warriors were supposed to fight for, but since she's conservative those maniac people are like oh well, screw her, let's harass her in public because we don't agree with her politics. It's just a shame when videos appear on social media showing Candace Owens attacked in Philadelphia. What were those people trying to do? They just made themselves look bad. Liberals treat people like they're not human. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.